Oh, hey guys, this is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, liking my videos. But at the very least, turn the volume down when you find the spot you're looking for. Let my videos play. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook, and I'll be happy to answer it if it's automotive related. Can't help you with your baby mama drama, but we sure will try. So we are obviously working on a rusted out. 2003 Ford Focus. So we first placed our jack stand somewhere that's not rusty underneath the car, supported it up so we don't hurt ourselves and stuff like that. Took off our wheel. Um, and we're going to be doing the rear brakes on this. We're going to do the wheel cylinder. We're going to do all the brake hardware and everything. And I'll try to go about it as quick as possible. First, we removed the 30 millimeter center nut right here and the 19 millimeter lug nuts. We set the tire off to the side, and if you're like me, um, I'm kind of lucky because I wanted to be able to show you guys this. Uh, we're going to remove this brake drum, and because we're replacing everything, we're not too worried about the components on the inside. There might be a window back there to loosen up the brakes. I'm not real sure, but what I'm going to show you is how I got this brake drum off. I took part of my uh, slide hammer kit, and I'm going to put it on there with a couple lug nuts, and I took this bolt. And I put it in the center of there, and that bolt is going to press against the bearing shaft, and we're going to pull this off. The bearing and the drum are all one piece. We've tightened down our lug nuts. We can go to town on our center nut here, and we'll drive that in with our half-inch impact, and hopefully uh, this puppy will pull right off here right before the feels so much better now oh man I was worried about that wasn't sure if i was going to be able to do that on camera or not oh wow she is foobard all our brake pads came off everything but that's okay because we're replacing everything we're going to even replace the wheel cylinder in this situation the wheel cylinder is dry on the other side we weren't so lucky it was all bad and was leaking and stuff and almost caused an accident and was terrible um so it's pretty simple to take these apart the more complicated part is knowing where everything goes when you go to put it back together. So we're going to make sure we show you that. I'm going to give you a view of what it looks like before you took it apart. Bazing! Hopefully you can see all of that. You can see what we got. If your drums look like these and they're all gouged up like this, you definitely need new ones. Um, can you drive with them like this? I don't recommend it, but it is certainly possible. For this illustration and the demonstration that we're doing on the video, we're going to go ahead and put these back on there. But we're waiting for the new ones to come in. But for right now, we have to run what we brung. Okay, so one of the next steps that we're going to do, and you don't necessarily have to do them in this order, is we're going to take a line clamp and we're going to lock off the line right here. Um, just so you guys know, uh, I skipped it in the already because the Jeff had already take off the took off the dust cover for me. We just take a screwdriver and uh, pop that thing off of there, and then we can bend that back with a pair of pliers or something to to get it back in the center of there. So we've got our line locked off, and that's so we don't bleed fluid all over the place. Uh, it'll drip a little bit, but maybe not all the way, and it might stop it totally. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove our rear brake line, and we're going to take a little bit of penetrant and put it on there. Uh, I use this uh, PB Blaster. Um, works out pretty good. Uh, I can't say that one's better than the other. Spray a little bit of that onto each end, and we're going to need to be up... Uh, oops. <laughs> we're going to need to be up there and get it up all up inside there uh, to get them loose. Now, I use line wrenches for these, and they're the ones that have more of a box than your normal wrench, uh, and that's so I don't destroy it. Um, feeling the threads on this one, which you really can't see very well, uh, it feels like it's pretty gnar gnarly underneath there, so we may need to build brand new lines for this, but that's okay. We do that stuff all the time here in the shop. Uh, they don't offer an aftermarket application for this line to that rubber line there. Not that I found anyways. I'm sure somebody may. I might should just let Jeff show you guys how to do this because he's already done. He's already did the other side and he's been working on um, it for a couple okay. hours. So we're going to undo the emergency brake cable spring and how we do that is we pull the spring back with a pair of vice grips and then that allows the the panel to come out just like this 
So we'll grab some needle nose vice grips. We'll pull this up and then, then pull that right out. We'll show you that. Do your e-brake cable. You're just gonna quite simply push on the little clips here, pop the rubber thing off and then, and then you're able to pull the e-brake out. That'll make it simpler for getting it off the arm as well. So Jeff tells me that assembling it, we cleaned the adjuster rod. <laughs> Goofy ass. Make sure, make sure that this thing, this thing here, it's it's a cam, and it can move forward and backwards and rotate. And you'll kind of when you play with it and put it together, you'll see that the this part of the shoe, there's a little hook, and it goes up in a little pocket, and that should be fully extended out and then that spring pulls it back and against this gnarled wheel. And every time you back up and hit the brakes, it expands and as the shoes wear out, this thing will, will rotate in, making this bar longer and longer and keeping your shoes adjusted to the Wow, point. isn't that something? I couldn't have explained it better myself. I, well, that's because I'm not working on it really, technically. Anyways. Okay, so we had to take out four 13 millimeter bolts that hold on the backing plate to be able to replace our uh, wheel drums. So you got two here and then there were two over here. And what'd you use to get them out, Jeff? Um, just 13 millimeter deep well for these two. The back two are gonna require a wobble to get in, get in the right angles. You gotta come in at a kind of a funny angle behind the shock and if not, you yeah. could remove the shock out of your way and get at the bolts easier, but. Yeah, the, other, the other side, yeah, I'd use, I had to heat this side of the bolts up, but I also didn't have any PV blaster on them. These have been soaking in PV blaster, so they're coming out a little easier. Okay, so with our backing plate out, now we can go ahead and take out the two, what are supposed to be 10 millimeters, yeah. I'm guessing. At one point in time, they probably were tens, but no more. So, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt if they break off. We're using, I'll show you here in a second when he gets that. That was too big now. We're actually using an extractor. And it's kind of been used a little bit over the years. It's an Irwin extractor, but he says it's the wrong size, so. And then, of course, we'll replace some screws with new ones or something, you know, that we got. And, you know, it's not all rusted out. And then we can change out our wheels okay, a little bit. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this rubber line right here. I mean, like I said, we had to cut our lines and we're going to replace them and make new ones because of our rust. So to remove that, we just got a clip that's in here. And I and I don't want to say it's going to be simple, but there's a little, little ledge that's right on the other side of this clip. And you'll pull this clip out. And I'm sorry, it's not focusing very well. It'll give you a little view down there. That little clip right there, we're gonna pull that out and go out that way with it. So we'll give that a try and pull this rusted thing out of here. So we got our brakes all replaced, all brand new. Everything's hooked back up. Slide the, ro the drum on there, put the nut on there, lock her down, make sure you grease up your wheel bearing before you put it on there. And should be good to go. Hopefully you guys found the video uh, helpful and entertaining. If you did, please consider subscribing. If you want to reach out to me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. That I promise you. God bless. Have a great day.